poems and prose, stories and songs. Call the word merchant and I'll be right along. Here up, it's Tobias Wordington in your midst, bringing fables to the table, legends to me friends, roaming from hamlet to hollow, from valley to glen. <laughs> Words for your mind, words for your soul. Words to be bought and words to be sold. <laughs> Whoa! Someone's out there! Oh, dear me. Greetings, dear friends. Tis I, Tobias. Move on, move on. This is my window. Tough turnips. Now it's mine, too. Hey, it's Toby. Bring us a story? Yay, Toby! Oh, please, Mama. To Ant Hill's children. Now, don't you turn your back on me. You just had a riddle yesterday, and now you badger me for a fairy tale. Could it be? Oh, lucky starlight. Mama, please! We need a story! Quiet, you're going to wake your sister. Sorry, it's story. <laughs> now, you get your tails in those chairs and be quiet. Now be very still, or he's not going to appear. Is this still enough for you? I'm more still than you are. Na 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 Strawberry. There goes Mom and that candle. Good evening, Mum. You're looking well. Oh, thank you. I know it's not exactly bunny-like, but do you mind if I put my feet up? I've had such a day. Not at all, love. And my favorite young bunnylings. A story, is it? I'm at your service and overjoyed to oblige. Now, which shall it be? Tell us the one about the little people girl and those big bear. You know, I do quite like that Yay! one. Yay! Excellent choice, my dear. Come on, Toby. Now, once upon a time, in a place far away, there lived a beautiful little people girl named Goldilocks. Goldie, as everyone called her, lived in a big city with very few trees, but lots of rock houses and cement streams. <laughs> there was only a short list of species that shared her home. Dogs, cats, and a few budgies in cages, but mainly people would race around in cars, oh, going a million miles an hour, in every which direction. But Goldie's parents were scientists, you see, and explored many distant parts of the world. Well, sometimes Goldie went with them, yes. But most of the time, she stayed with her friends at school. One blustery autumn day, a telegram came with some very sorry news for Goldie. Her parents had died in a riverboat accident. After the funeral, the poor dear was told that she would have to leave her friends and move up to the mountains to live with her uncle Hal while her parents' affairs were settled. Her heart was broken, but she packed her clothes, pictures and books and tried to be very, very grown up about it all. Why didn't she hide in the woods? There aren't any woods in the city, nettle brain. Oh, hush now, you two. Listen to Toby. Thank you, Mum. Now, one morning, the people from the school's Office of Special Jobs came to get Goldie and drive her up the mountain.
they're here. <laughs> okay, thanks. You're gonna be okay? Yeah. I guess. We'll see. Well, you better hurry. Pick her up on the way. Come on, get the luggage. I loved you, both. Mr. McGreedy says I have to go with Uncle Hal. Great, huh? I'm so scared. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have to go now. I thought we'd find you here. Come along, dear. It's time to go. I don't want to go. Why can't I just stay here? Oh, you know it's not possible. Besides, it's only for one month. Who knows? You might love it. You're right. You have no choice, Gabrielle. Your uncle is legal guardian now. You'll see. It'll be fun. Besides, we wouldn't want Mr. McCready to get upset after going through all that paperwork. Come on, we'll hit the morning traffic as it is. Sure, this is the right way. Oh, quite. Not much further, dear. Sam. It'll be fine, Hal. If I had a daughter and something happened, I'd want to know she was well taken care of. Thanks for sticking around. Anytime. Oh, here they are. 
Mr. Uh, Hal. I'm McCready. Uh, this is Mary Catherine. Hi. Uh, this is Samantha McCoon. Hi. Sam is a forest ranger. Mm. Mm. Is something wrong? Well, it's not San Francisco, is it? Oh, uh, the young lady's luggage is in the trunk. Oh, uh, this is my truck right over here, if you could put it in the back. Oh. I'll get the luggage. Mr. McCready isn't much for the provinces. Well. Hey, kiddo. This is it. This is the town. Will we go into Sacramento for the real shopping? How far is that? A couple hundred miles. Oh, great. Oh. She's been upset since the accident. It's just nerves. Oh! <laughs> oh, uh, her tuition's paid through spring. If she doesn't return after the break, there'll be no refund. Refund? Tuition? Oh, what about... Well, bye. It's gonna be rough for a while. I guess I'll manage. I meant for her. <laughs> oh. Goodbye. Far. It's up there. It's our place now. Mr. McReady says you're quite a bike rider. There's lots of great trails where we're going. How have you been, Goldie? How have I been? I've been an orphan, that's how. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You weren't even at their funeral. Is that what this is all about? I was out of the country. By the time I found out, they'd already been... You'd already had the funeral. Well, you should have been there. I know! Turn around. I want to go back right now. Fine. Fine. Look, Goldie, I'm sorry. Peoria. Look, I had a stomachache last week, and I was on time. Look, I had to fire half my staff this morning. Well, I'm sorry. So am I. I want to fire all of them. Don't you wear a watch. Back off, Numbers Boy. That's Mr. Numbers Boy to you. Shh! Get a grip. Good afternoon, Joshua. Approval? Senator Dobbs signed off on the EIR this morning. I'm impressed, Joshua. Amazing what money can buy. Has Dobbs seen that? No, and he doesn't want to. The official line is we're building a few ski lifts and one podunk lodge. Once we get our foot in the door, there'll be nobody who can stop us, even if they wanted to, which Dobbs definitely doesn't. Must be a good feeling, finally getting that taste of Houston out of your mouth. 
Houston wasn't my fault, Stark. Uh, of course not, Joshua. I would never imply you do anything illegal. No matter what the media says, that project was safe. <laughs> That's absolutely right. You're, you're absolutely right. And, and all we have to do is get past the town meeting on Saturday. And... Don't sweat it. They'll vote the way I tell them to. Timber City is so hungry that they'll take whatever crumbs we throw them. Without one tech, they're dead. And they know it. Perfect. This gonna be all yours. Gee, my own radar dump. And I thought you might like this. The guy at the store said this is the best money can buy. as she curled up on the bed. My bunny bunch looks so sad. Tobias, perhaps you should stop. We're okay, Toby. Honest. Goodness. Goldie? Dinner's on. Uncle Hal? Those three are always here. It's their valley. Yeah, right. Well, they can have it. I'm out of here. What are you... Uncle Hal, where are you going? Don't open that! There's nothing to worry about, Goldie. See for yourself. Come on. Come on. was way close. You want to stay here tonight? Where are you going? To get your bed. Uh, you won't be long, will you? <laughs> You'll be fine. What are you doing here anyway? Building a ski resort. Isn't that gonna like mess up the ecology or something? My science teacher says. No. That. It's 
perfectly safe. I'm sorry I got mad at you today, Uncle Hal. Yeah. Me too. Give it a chance, Goldie. You might actually like it here. I'm back. Where were you? I didn't know where you were. Don't you have a fever or something? I mean, what if you got hurt? I'd be up a creek. Where were you? Uh, up the creek. <laughs> oh, my. What in the woods is that smell? I didn't do it. Yeah. It's not me. Maybe it's coming from outside. Maybe it's the raccoon. Yeah. I beg your pardon. <gasps> Something's burning in here. Oh, no. I forgot my ratatouille. <laughs> Where was I? Not all the humans who live there believe that Timber City and the beautiful mountains around it were in danger. Many thought development would bring money. And you know how people types like their money. A showdown was inevitable. And a town meeting was scheduled for the next Saturday. Everyone would then decide whether or not to build a ski resort. Town meeting? <laughs> what? <laughs> Safe in the city. Pretty boring. I'll chance it. Excellent swing, sir. <clears throat> you wanted to see me, Mr. Donovan? Talk to me about Timber City. Well, the permits are going through his plans, sir. I don't sir. want this to be a fiasco like Houston. You understand? I understand, but if you remember, it wasn't entirely It my cost fault. me a bundle last time. I know, sir. I guarantee you, you'll make a bundle off Timber City. How? Do you really want to know, sir? What I want to know is that you don't mess this thing up and you do it right. I don't like failure, Crane. I will make Timber City happen if it's the last thing I ever do. You mess this up, it will be the last thing you ever do. Oh, excellent. Very nice, very nice. 
You sure showed him. Why do you do that? Mark them. So we know which ones to cut. I want to keep this area as virgin... as untouched as possible. It's a deal we made with the Environmental Protection Agency. Why bother? I mean, if the bulldozers don't get them, the exhaust fumes will, right? Oh, see, I put the parking lot down by the highway. People will take electric trams, or they'll take gondolas up and ski in. Me? Bunny slow! Cow! Oh, 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 me! Oh, my. Where'd that slide come from? What slide, madam? Where did I put my glasses? <clears throat> The fresh air had awoken something in Goldie. She often thought of her life in the city, but was beginning to understand the beauty of the mountains, and was even starting to like her Uncle Hal. I was away at boarding school when it happened. I remember Miss McCready coming into the classroom and whispering to my teacher. I don't know how, but I knew it was something bad about Mom and Dad. I miss them so much. Me too. Your folks and I got out of touch these last few years. I always thought it was great you running off to all those exotic places. I still have that koala bear doll you gave me. Oh, yeah? Of course, I don't need to sleep with him anymore. Oh, of course. I miss them so much. Me too. <laughs> Me too, Goldie. <laughs> well, now that we've got you outnumbered, you're gonna have to start shaving. How's it going? Mother? It was easier being an uncle. Mm. Hi, you having fun? You feel like going for a ride? Sure. Where are the pedals? <laughs> Come on around. It's easy. I'll show you. Here yeah. we go. Oh, good. Put your foot in the pedal here. <laughs> here you go. Swing on up. Okay. I'll drop her on by camp on our way back. Okay. Okay. Have a good time. We will. Let's go. Please, for dear life. Wow! <laughs> You okay, Gabrielle? Goldie's okay. That's what everyone calls me. Okay. It's strange being with Uncle Hal again. Seemed like he was always around when I was little. Yeah. Oh, there's something about this place. After you've been here long enough, you can feel it. That's what Uncle Hal says. Hmm. I don't know why, if he loves this place so much, he wants to tear it down. He's being real careful. Oh, that's not enough. Look, the town's holding a final meeting on Saturday to vote on the resort. I don't know if there's anything that I can do to convince them, but would you like to go with me? Sure, why not? All right. Gold, are you in there? Hi. 
you like it? I thought you were just spending the night. Well, I got to think. We can get to know each other better this way, instead of me being stuck in the other dome. And I can help you cook and clean. And there are no bears here. Well, yeah. This is good. Thanks. Good old home act. Maybe you can do more of the cooking around here. I'm gonna go get some water. Howdy! <laughs> <laughs> She's getting there. I let you in. Ah, I know you did, you too. Howdy! Hi. Where have you been? Um, cleaning out the hut. You scared me. Oh, ain't no call to be scared, Missy. Caleb works an old mine on the other side of the hill. Mm hmm Gonna strike it rich any day now. <laughs> <laughs> I was in town bringing vittles. Thought you were one of those stupid bears. Them bears ain't stupid, Missy. They special. I'm gonna go get some more firewood. <clears throat> Caleb, don't fill our head with too much nonsense. <laughs> now, nah, just enough. Yep, it's the truth. These timber bears been here longer in time. The big one, he's got the power. I used to camp up here when I was a boy. Old bear came by one night, told me the whole story. Said it's because I believed. You got it too. I could feel it right off. Yeah. They can talk. The little one comes around to visit all the time. Listen to my radio. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go on and laugh. It's the God's honest truth. Then why doesn't old Bear do something about the resort? <laughs> Maybe he has, Missy. Maybe he has. Well, thanks for the coffee. Thanks for picking up our groceries. Sure can't give you a ride? Heck, it ain't for two miles. I don't want people to think I'm going soft. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Caleb. Yeah, I'll see you, Director. It's only a legend, Goldie. <laughs> over here, over here. Hey, Bruno. There's the talk. Stark and Hawkins. What do you want, Joshua? Well, the main office has been working on a new scenario. To do all this, you'd have to divert the stream, destroy the feeding grounds, kill off all the habitat below the break. It's just a scenario, Lochner. Think of it as a feasibility study. Who's that? So, uh, my brother's kid. Her parents died in an accident earlier this year. I'm her legal guardian now. 
there's no way the EPA is going to go for this. Maintaining the ecosystem was the only reason they approved it. Leave the EPA to me. We're bringing the heavy equipment in in the spring. I want to be ready to start construction immediately. Maybe we'll work this in later. It's against the law, Crane. Will you stop being a Boy Scout, Lochner? Or get out. A lot of responsibility, Lochner. Raising a kid, a lot of money. Food, clothes. <laughs> Shoes alone will kill you. It'd be a shame if something went wrong. Is that a threat? Word to the wise, Lochner. Word to the wise. I'm so sorry. It's my fault completely. Sorry. Do you think Sam's pretty? Huh? What did that man want? Crane? Nothing. You going out for a walk today? No. I think I will then. No! You're not my father! Well, I'm the only one you've got.
Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Hello? Doing. Ursula, if I don't eat something soon, I'm gonna keel over. Termites, a grub, anything. Cool, Dad, I'll help. No, you two will spoil your lunch now you come down right now. When life gets unbearable, remember me. Love, Bruno. Come into this magic house Filled with dreams No one can take away Stay as long As long as you want to stay You'll be glad you came And you'll never be the same Welcome to this magic house no one here can harm you in any way Open wide and say what you want to say Once you're through these doors, all the world is yours Far away, away from what is civilized Seeing life through brand new eyes, knowing from inside Sail away, when love is not a fantasy You and me will always be Hey, boys, I think that's about enough exercise for one day. About time. I'm starved. Hurry up, Spike. Let's go home and eat something. You got it, Pop. Come on, Mom. Last one home's a sideshow bear. Swear, dear. Funnies for the bunnies. 
Tobias, <laughs> you're not helping. Get back to the story, if you please. Sorry, Mum, do forgive me. Now, once upon a time, as Goldie curled up on the pit. Man, I hope lunch is ready. I'm so hungry I could eat it. A... Nice bowl of goo. Look at it this way, Pop. At least it won't clog your arteries. No, it gets stuck in my throat, never makes it that far. Hey, someone's been eating my porridge. Oh, dear. Someone's been eating my porridge, too. I'll bet it's those darn squirrels again. Hey, somebody's been scarfing my porridge, and, and they ate it all up. That's it. First thing in the morning, I'm fixing that screen. I hate when they eat my porridge. I'm gonna go catch the game. If anyone finds a good recipe for squirrel stew, let me know. You know, Ursula, I think they've been at my chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair, too. Bizarre, huh? Mine looks okay. Whoa, dude! What is going on around here? There's a squirrel large enough to break Spike's chair. I don't want to meet him. Uh-oh. You better check your jewelry, Ursula. Oh, Someone's dear. been in our bedroom, too. Somebody's been sleeping on my bed. First my porridge, now my bed. And this used to be such a nice neighborhood, too. Bruno, that's just charming. I warned you about those termites. Mom, Pop, someone's been sleeping in... Old news, Spike. Yeah, but check it out. She's still here. She? About time. Ursula, Ursula, come here, come here. Do you like these? Mm. Look, Mom, she's awesome, huh? It is her, dear. Oh. Isn't she sweet, dear? Cool. Goldie, she has some special magic. Look how peacefully she sleeps. I would, too, if I'd had all that porridge. Hey, Pop, watch this. Cool. Spike, what are you doing? Uh, uh, ah! Whoa! Ah! Bring it down! Bring it down! Bring it down! Everyone! Quiet! Everyone! Did you just say quiet? Yes, I did, dear. You can talk? Sure. What do you think we are, circus bears or something? Oh, man. I must have hit my head harder than I thought. Wait a minute. Can those bears really talk? Better than you can. Move over. You're hugging the window. Get lost, mud mouth. I was here first. Fog breath. Snake eyes. Hush. Pipe down, noisy things. Get back to the story, if you please. Now, Goldie was shocked to discover that she could understand everything the bears were thinking. Imperfect people English. Just like how we understand the birds and the chipmunks? Exactly. That's it. There's the talk. It's all a bad dream. Now go away. Shoo, shoo. Oh, forget it, Bruno. We're busted. You're not loopy. This is us talking inside your head. Then... Caleb's right. Caleb? The one I spoke to long ago. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you guys. Me neither. So, you into Pearl Jam? Hardly. Meat puppets rule. When they start speaking English again, let me know. I'm gonna go eat some. I'll make us a nice salad, dear. Oh, boy. Sold out, but my roommate's dad 
does their PR or something. A backstage pass to Liz Fair? Righteous. That is like so totally in the pocket. She is a goddess. You cubs wouldn't know good music if it stung you on the nose. Yeah? And what you consider good music? The bare necessities? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ursula. Let's show. Oh, dear. I knew this was going to happen. Let me see. This one. Ah, uh, this brings back memories. Mm -hmm. Get it, can do. Can you do the monkey? Go, baby, oh, go! This feels good, oh, my too. My big man. Mm -hmm. My, my, my. You Eat your heart out, Michael Jackson. Man. <laughs> man, you can really <laughs> cut a leaf. Somebody stop. I'm smoking. Don't hurt yourself. find out about us, they try to hunt us down or put us in a sideshow. Mm. Understand, Ursula. You're a good girl. Remember, Goldie, every creature has its own special magic. Uh, sure. Even you. I gotta go now. I just hope I'm right, Ursula. Of course you are, dear. Mm. You felt it. She has the magic. It's in her soul. She's the one. Come on, Spike, let's What's go. What's for dinner, anyway? I'm so hungry I could eat it. Dear? Don't tell Sarah I'm on my way to California. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in that mind ever since. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> ah. Oh, boy. I, uh, I tried out a new recipe. <laughs> Something on your mind, Al? Which do you think is more important, Caleb? What you do or who you are? I reckon what you do is who you are. Jack London says, the measure of a man is doing the right thing every time, even if it don't feel good. Why? They're planning on enlarging the resort. Can they do that? Oh, yeah. Once we complete step one, it'll be a cinch to get the extra permit shoved through. I just can't believe they went this far. You gotta stop them, Hal. You gotta save the bears. I don't think I can, Caleb. Besides, they'll just move on. Uh-uh, this is their home. What's the big deal, anyway? There's no more of their kind. They gotta, they gotta stay in the valley or they die. Say that again? 
There's timber bears. There's no more in existence. <laughs> oh, you'll get used to Dad, Goldie. He's just a little extreme about this magic stuff because he's the old one. What's that? Don't you guys have an old one? The head dude who tells everything what it should be doing. I guess so, but I don't really understand all that about magic being inside us. Watch. Dad's been teaching me. What's it gonna... No! Whoa! Whoa! I don't know. I was just trying to get it to say hi. No! So maybe next time you come to visit, you can bring some of your CDs, mags? Sure. Cool. I'll ask Mom to whip up her specialty, Grub Tartar. It is awesome. Um. What happened? Darn bears. And powder last. I want to blend it into your neck here so it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. Okay. And mascara. Brown. Good for you. And lipstick. Okay. Oh, perfect. Gloss is out. Hey. Why? Oh, it's tacky. Gotcha. That's it? For now. Oh, and I got everything in sunscreen, including the powder, so you don't have to sweat the rays. Great. You two are worse than a bunch of engineers. I'm going out for a walk. Oh, I'll join you. Work off some of this food. You coming? No, I think I'll stay here and play around with this stuff a little bit. Okay. I'll show you some more tricks when I get back. Me. If you clear the table. See ya. Goldie seems to be doing okay. She likes you. So do I. So, how's this nomadic life of yours going to work now that you have her? I've been thinking about that. There's an opening in our main office in New York. Well, there are always jobs in the forestry department for good engineers. Laying out fire breaks, building ponds, lodges. Probably be better for Goldie. Yeah. You go crazy stuck in an office all day. I wouldn't have to wear one of those dorky uniforms, would I? <laughs> Thanks. Crane, you got a big problem in Timber City. You better deal with this immediately. I don't care what it takes, do you understand? Don't worry, it's a done deal. It better be. people went over this place with a fine-tooth comb. Well, they missed the bears. We're aware of the bears. So what? They're just ordinary brown bears. Our research They're timber bears, Stark. We never heard of them before because up till now, no one knew any of them were still alive. You back off, Joshua, or I'll turn this whole place into a wildlife preserve. 
The government won't take two seconds to reverse its position if they find out that you're going to destroy an entire species that they already think is extinct. That's it, Lochner. This isn't Houston. And you're not going to hurt anybody if you walk. So you do as you're told. Or you're fired. I'm fired? I quit. Uh, well, now, wait. Maybe we're being hasty here. Uh, Lochner... Uh, don't do that, Lochner. Corporate will crucify you. I mean, think of the stockholders, all the money they've already spent. I, it must be millions. You've already spent, Crane. I don't think it's me they're going to crucify. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, uh, Lochner, hey, uh, now we can work this out. Uh, uh, how about a bonus? What do you say? Uh, and some time off to spend with that niece of yours. I can get you back on the A projects again. You'll be the man again. Lochner, don't you see? This is going to go through. They'll kill me. Better you than the bears. You're finished, Crane. Cheat on the taxes. I said we march right back into that helicopter and... I'll take the left flank and you go the other way, okay? Oh, man. I hate the woods. Who do they think I am? Grizzly Adams? Ah! Ah! I paid retail for these. I'm so thirsty. I hope there's a 7-Eleven nearby. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Animals. Oh. This is great. All we need now is s'mores. You and the food. Uh, Would you stop complaining? Can you hear me I went through six years of college for this. You just shut up and act like a man for once. Look, I don't have to act like a man. I'm an accountant. Get her! Ah! Ah! You let her get away! You let her get away! I'm telling Joshua. I'm telling your mother. Okay. Get her! stay with us, but she wouldn't listen. You know her. Where's Blondie? I'm gonna rip out those little ringlets one by one! For sake, Stark, you're a VP! Put a lid on a dweeb! Follow me. God. 
You know something? You look great in mud. You're sick. Will you two shut up and come on? I have lots of mud at my house. I'm not in the mood. Hey, kiddo. I kind of like it. You are okay? Oh, I've been better. If only they're gonna dam the stream. It'll kill everything. I'm sorry. I... Is he gonna oh, be okay? Oh, oh, yeah. He's gonna be okay. i best get him into town, though. All right, now. You take it easy. Easy now. All right. Easy. There you go. You ride in the back. You go on ahead. I've got to warn the bears. You tell old bear what's up. He'll know what to do. They voted two o'clock sharp. Okay. They're gonna do what? The whole valley's gonna be Condo City. Can you do anything, dear? I can stop their machines. I can even cloud their minds if they get close enough. But others will take their place. Well, how about you? Can't you do anything? There's only one way. Goldie, I can't. You've got to understand. What? Our only survival is if they believe we didn't survive. You see that, don't you, dear? What? They won't believe me. I have to show them. What? I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, we better get going. We're going to make it in time. Thank you. Come on, guys. What are you talking about? Spike. We're going to town. No way! We're going to town? All right. This is so cool. Can we stop at a record store? Tranquilizer darts only. There they are, right there. Hunter, run or stop. Don't hurt the bear. Get some cubs out of here. Stop! Ah! stop. Dad, are you okay? Careful of the girl. Run! Stay in the woods! Goldie, Spike, go! I'm staying with your father. I Get want him alive, you understand? You're crazy. Yes, dear. I love you, too. I want them all! Don't worry, Mr. Crane. We'll cork the bottle for you. I got a buyer, a circus in Florida, but I need all three. You got it. Where they're going, they might as well be extinct. Take the plank. The Here they come, sir. Come on. Follow us, you bozos. I want everything cleaned up by the time I get back. You got it. What about the girl? Just keep her out of the way. Once the vote's in, who cares what she's got to say? You got it! I'm so nervous, I can't listen anymore. I'm so nervous, it's made me hungry again. Now, now, my loves, everything will be all right. I hope. <clears throat> Crane was confident. His crew clearly understood the plan of attack. <gasps> Things looked rather dismal for Goldie and the bears. She and Spike, however, were one step ahead of the game with a plan of their own. Bonehead! Up here! Now, Goldie, now! Ah! 
bullseye. Good shot, Jordan. Hey, man, you understand? How was that for greatest hit? <laughs> Come on, Spike, let's go hide in the mine shaft. They'll never find us in there. Good idea, Goldie. Here we go. Hiding in the mine shaft. <laughs> I sure hope that guy doesn't find us in this mine shaft where we're hiding right now. Here I am. Don't look now, dude, but you've just been shacked. Come on, let's get those tranquilizer darts. You got it, baby cakes. Do one to others, then break out. Boom, bang, boom, 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 Go help the guys. I'll stay and make sure they don't slip by. Piece of cake, Mr. Masters. Piece of cake. Nice, tempting target. <laughs> hey, let's play follow the leader, huh? You snooze, you lose. Over here, you big dummy. <laughs> here, little bear. I got a nice place for you. A nice, warm place in front of the fire. As a rug. That can't hit me. Faster than that. Nice tempting target. I don't think so. Hasta la bye bye, furball. Now, Goldie, now! Uh, 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 nice uh, shot, Goldie. Uh, 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 Clint, you there? Clint. Him win, Betty Bob. We took him out. Let the bears go, and we'll give you your men back. Get it. Then it's just me and you, punk. You feeling lucky today? Well, are ya? Are you? Uh-uh, Missy. These aren't tranquilizer darts this time. So this is what it's all about, huh? No wonder Crane was so anxious to get his hands on you. I know people that'll pay a lot of money, more than a circus, to take you apart and see what makes a talking bear tick. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? It's weird. Being in a cage, jerk. He looks good in there, doesn't he, Spike? What? Hi. Twelve thirty, Mama Cita. Yo, we got a jam if we're gonna make that meeting. Cool. Let's go get your folks. Hey, hey, you can't leave me here. Get used to it, Bozo. Trapping an endangered species is against federal law. Oh, and watch out for wolves. They get real hungry about this time of day. Wolves. Come on! Mom! Dad! Spike! Good boy! I knew you could do it! Hurry, get us out of here! Goldie, hurry! Ooh. Hello, dear. 
My, what a pretty day. All the butterflies are in bloom. Oh, I'm free. I think Mom's had one dart too many, Goldie. Never make it in time. The meeting's at two. Uh, We're gonna have to take the truck, Dad. Uh, you and Mom ride in the back where it's safe. Save! Uh, forget I just said that. I don't know, Spike. I've never driven before. How hard can it be? Adults do it. Get me on the truck. Truck, truck, truck. Let's go. Come on, Ursula. I'm coming, dear. Oh, my, what a pretty truck. Some curtains. Oh, and Ursula, and get a hold of yourself, woman. Come on, Goldie, let's go. Just a minute. Ah! Who's driving? Goldie. Maybe you gotta push one of those things. I can't reach them. No sweat, little darling. You work the wheel, I'll handle these. I would like to take a moment, though, to uh, commend the very thorough job that Mr. Crane and the WinTech Corporation did in evaluating and anticipating the government's concerns. What did I tell now, you? To my right, as you can see, the direct impact on the valley will be minimized by the inclusion of integrated, non-intrusive use modules designed to direct the flow of both foot and vehicular service traffic away from heavy operational centers. Uh, the lifts themselves, uh, as well as all in-house heating and cooking applications, will take advantage of natural steam vents in the deciduous strata. <clears throat> uh, independent examinations of the working blueprints has determined that during peak operational hours, a total of no more than 750 people per day what happened? will be You're allowed right? to use the services of the resort. Doc says with his a reduced head hard as a rock. capacity of 238 double occupancy rooms and four dorm-style sheds housing another 25 persons per building. Uh, those quarters reserved exclusively for service and maintenance personnel. Uh, this additional population Sorry, will be absorbed about a lot within of things. the boundaries of a 15 You were right about these guys from the beginning. Grid Did Goldie make it? Keep it on the road! Whoa, Please try harder, dear. I can't remember, Ursula. Did I have punch? Yes, dear, why? Because I think I'm about to lose it. Goldie, watch out for the sign! What's on? Uh, never mind, Jack. As Mr. Carswell of your government's Environmental Protection Agency has just verified, Wintech is taking the utmost precaution to comply with all state and federal regulations concerning your beautiful valley. And... As you probably also know, Senator Calvin Dobbs has given this his unbiased seal of approval. Tell him about the bears, Crane. He plans to kill the last three timber bears in existence. I think you all know Hal Lochner. Unfortunately, I recently had to fire him for incompetence. This is obviously some scheme him and his little girlfriend have cooked up. That's a lie. And if you overbuild this valley, you run the risk of destroying everything that you can. I'm going to lose my life. How are we doing, Goldie? Great. I think I'm about the hang of it now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's tin till. We're cutting it pretty close. I know, I know. Give it more gas. Wintech is going to put our little community on the map. We've also heard a couple of people trying to kibosh the idea. Get on with it, Harold. I got a motel to build. <laughs> all right, now. All in favor of Wintech. This is another stunt. Don't listen to him. Once his company gets out there, he plans on expanding all the way to the cliffs. <laughs> 
Think about how many of you have loved the valley all of your lives. Do you want to see a bunch of rich cats from the city destroy that? Yes! <laughs> She's lying! Now, you heard Mr. Carswell. We have done nothing wrong. He sent out hunters to capture the bears and sell them to some sideshow or something. Can you prove that, young lady? Sure. Some of them are still up there. Me and Spike captured them. I, I don't know anything about that. I say vote! No, you don't understand. They're timber bears. Everyone thought they were extinct, but they're not. Look, Blondie, they're just common black bears. I don't know yeah, what you mean. Yeah, yeah, They're just uh, ordinary bears, the kind you see on uh, cereal boxes. You know? Oh, shut up. These special bears, they talk. <laughs> right, like bears can talk. Gotta say something, Bruno. You've gotta tell them. Bruno, you have to, please. Can you ride a bike too? <laughs> Maybe we ought to start our own little sideshow right here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Enough of this nonsense. Now. All in favor of letting Mr. Crane bring his resort in here, say aye. Aye! aye. aye. He's been holding a special magic for us, and now we're going to destroy it. Who says no? I do. Don't panic. Calm down, calm down. Be easy. We're not going to harm you. I'm just a big, overgrown teddy bear. Don't listen to them. They're trying to trick you. The young one is right. I've walked on this earth for many years. I've seen many changes. I've shared the land with you and your fathers before you. You should be ashamed of yourselves for what you're about to do. See you, ninnies? I told you. Uh, don't listen. <laughs> this is a trick. Let the bear speak! John Compton, you proposed to Mary in the valley 40 years ago. She brought you back to the same spot to tell you she was expecting your first child. Martha Hopbringer, you scattered the ashes of your beloved parents in our valley so they'd live forever in your heart. Sally Martin, Billy Jones, I need to talk to your parents about all those times you told them you were at the library. Don't let greed overtake you. The valley is sacred to us, as it should be to you. This I can teach you if you're willing to listen. It's for you to decide. Way to go, Pop! Your father always was good with people, dear. You voted! It's official! Like that man. So this is a plan. Oh, He's out. You and I are not going to this job. He's going to This man is history. He's not going to let you. You did it, Goldie. We did it. You okay? Yeah. Can I go home now? You mean, back to school? No, silly. Do our home. I love you, Cold. Me too. Daddy, me too.
happen now? Nothing. No one will remember, dear. That man from Washington will go home and decide a ski resort would damage the land too much. Instead, he'll recommend the valley be declared a national wildlife preserve. Well, we're gonna take off, Goldie. Public speaking always makes me hungry. <laughs> dear, anything makes you hungry. Bye, Goldie. Come visit us soon, dear. See you, Goldie. Don't forget to bring your CDs next time you come over. Bye. And as the sun set that night in Timber Valley, the townspeople, Goldie, Hal, and the bears headed home, comforted that their precious mountain had been saved. And of course, they all lived happily ever after. Device, thank you for the wonderful story. You do have the gift. It's always a pleasure, Adam. Till next time, good night. Good night, Robert. Sweet dreams, my precious bunnies. Good night. Thanks for the story. See you soon again. Mama, can you read us just one more story, please? Gracious. <laughs> to 